Oh, in the semi-finals. And it's Van Gerwen to kick us off on finals night at the European Championship. It just shows you, Stuart, that getting back to form as Michael yeah. starts the match. Exactly. He left it this afternoon with a max. That getting back to form is only 100. a tournament away. We've seen it with Rob Cross, Nathan, Michael, obviously, Joe Cullen. It just shows you once you start winning. Look at that 23 1 inches already from Aspinall. He really has been strong on that treble 140. 20. That's uh, for George Noble. Happy birthday, George. He's our referee. 174. And you'll enjoy calling a 118 and a 174 as Michael Van Gerwen finds himself on a 10 dark leg in the opener. Told you there was something special in the air. He's <laughs> on the first leg, Michael Van Gerwen. What is going on? Nathan Aspinall. Left 130 or 131 after nine darts and got pummeled. 100. What a start. 100. I mean, I just get a feeling as well that it was a World Series event, the Nordic Masters, and he was pushed all the way, wasn't he, in the final in the end by, by Fallon Sherrick. Fallon, if you may remember, missed darts to go 7 3 up, and 55. Van Gerwen came out the winner. And. Just have the feeling that this weekend in Salzburg, the shackles have been off a little. The way he's playing with 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 more freedom, belief, yes, but just the freedom to go and throw and to play. 125. Yes, obviously the winning is important, but it's how you win as well when you want to get your game back to the level that he was playing at, and he's playing, I can assure you, at that level now. Your 10 data. Might be an 11 data here for Van Gerwen. 83. Michael, you require 81. I'm just having a look what Aspinall was on. 138. So. Ah, he gambled. 65. He gambled there. 138. I think he went for treble 10, didn't he? Interesting. This will be interesting if he gets it. Oh. Michael looking non plus stood behind him. 91. Michael, you require 16. He's on the well, second leg. Like Michael this is going to take some beating. Remember, against Gerwin Price Michael in the Houston quarterfinals, he was 4 1 down. And he was playing beautifully. It's just that Price was playing phenomenally, to use Michael Van Gerwen's favourite phrase. But at the moment, Van Gerwen looking irresistible. He's only averaging at the moment 130. Yes, and as you mentioned, that 4-1 against Gerwin in that quarter-final, Stuart, he didn't just come back against somebody from 4-1 down, he came back oh, against somebody who was averaging 115-plus at the time. That's the difference in not just getting a comeback, but against somebody who's playing at his top 96. level at the same time. Well, that's just remarkable. Unbelievable scoring this from Van Gerwen. But he is human, he's hit a single five. 81. But 106 after nine, and his average remains over 130. Yes, I know it's only the third leg, but it's certainly worth mentioning because that's how how, how well he's playing. He's just vintage Van Gerwen. Ninety-eight to leave double four. I'm afraid. Not a lot that Nathan Aspinall could do about this. 171. But he's trying. Well, apart from anything, I'll give him plenty of confidence. They still get a shot. He's on the third level. Oh, my finger. Full flag, Nathan. Spoke too soon. Michael heard you. 3 0. And well, for me, he's got to get a foothold here. He has to win this leg on the throw. 140. This is Van Gerwen rolling back the years. 180, 180, 180, 174, 174, 10 data, 13 data. 
three nil. Threatening a fourth. Well, we've certainly seen signs of this recently, and I really do believe that 83. winning the Nordic Masters paved the way. Standing there at the end of the tournament, holding the trophy, it was a win. Absolutely. He, was he was desperate for a win of Easy any sort. sort. Well, his emotion at the end just told yeah. you the story straight Absolutely. away, uh, and, his, and what he said afterwards. Uh, since then, even in defeat, you can see his, well, standard has certainly increased. Uh, this weekend has just been a different level. The Van Gerwen level. And Aspinall oh. is up far away. Oh. Allegri has to win, and he finds a first 180. Now, 55 from Michael, the last visit. 58. 58 from Michael, this visit. I'll have to check, see if George threw them for him. Thirty-seven, Michael. Your appointment. Well, the moon is in. You know what he needs. This would be a miracle dart. One hundred. If you require forty, there was room, but only just, but just couldn't quite manage it. Have to get this now, Nathan. Oh, great dart, great last dart. I wouldn't say relief, but certainly glad that the last dart went in. Gets himself on the board. It was a brave dart, wasn't it? A Jamie Harvey dart. First major TV ranking semi-final for nearly two years for Nathan Aspinall since the, the 2020 World Championship lost to Michael Van Gerwen. 139. Yes, he had that spell, didn't he, for two and a half, three years. Went right up the rankings, obviously two world semis. The UK 80. Open was in the Premier League. It's so easy to take your foot off the gas. That's why Michael Van Gerwen, even despite recent faults or issues, whichever way you want to put it, he still remained at the top of the rankings. 140. No finish. They will be soon. 133. Great setup. Easy four. The double eight team for another 13 dart leg. He's yeah. on the fifth leg. Brilliant from Michael, Michael Van Gerwen in that opening. Well, his interview before the match, this semi final, Nathan Aspinall said that Michael Van Gerwen is going to have to play Nathan very, very Nathan well to beat him. Well, he yeah. is. He's playing extremely well, Van Gerwen, and Nathan has it all to do. First to 11 to go through to the European Championship final. Of course, remember, Van Gerwen went four on the spin uh, between 20. 14 and 2017 and his winning legs very very impressive but this is the first time that he's actually got past the last 16 since winning it back in 2017 but at the moment he's sitting pretty for a place in the final with an average of 110 well there's no doubt whatsoever he's carried on where he left off this afternoon nathan Hasn't done much wrong, to be fair, but he's still around 10 points behind his average from that extraordinary game. Last leg decided against Danny Noppert. The other thing to mention is out of the semi-finalists, the only one guaranteed a place in the Grand Slam of Darts at the moment is that man, the Green Machine. So a place in the final for either Aspen or Cross or Cullen would also clinch their spot at the Grand Slam next month. Yes, it'll definitely clinch it. I think Joel's in a provisional place, isn't he, for his uh, double Players' Championship wins. 98. And then we've still got the Players' Championship... Uh, sorry, the World Series finals to go. Yep. And all will be revealed. 30. Of course, Michael, you require 76. I think Colin was already going to be there, isn't he? Because of what he's achieved on the Pro Tour. But this is achieving. Five one, another break of three. 
And for Nathan Aspinall now, I wouldn't Can say it's looking grim, but it's looking grimmer. Yes, Michael's always renowned for his high scoring, but when he finishes 100. with his first dart on a regular basis, he did that a lot this afternoon, and he's doing it again this evening. 45. That's better. Just averaging 95 at the moment. 121. Well, he's certainly been one of the more prolific 180 scorers this weekend, Stuart. He hasn't quite got onto that mark yet. 99. So he needs to get back there. He has hit one. But at this stage of the game now, 100. He's also re relying not only on him improving, but Michael Van Gerwen slipping away. And we're not seeing too many signs of that. 140. No, definitely not. Van Gerwen's last win at a major TV ranking event came. You remember in the Players' Championship Finals almost a year ago. That was a tension end as well, wasn't it? 38. Against Mervyn King. That was a, a last leg decider, wasn't it? Really? 133. Yeah, good darts, just in case. Ah, now then. He's on the now then, play. indeed, Michael says Van Michael Van Gerwen. Six one. Thought he was going to get a sniff, and that was completely blown oh, away. That's better from Nathan. Oh, Back into the big scoring, and a bit of aggression going. Yes, he's behind. Oh, oh, this is incredible oh, from the Green Machine. Oh, well, at the moment, Van Gerwen is looking incredible. 100. Can he follow the 180 with another? 134. For that. Exceptional cover shooting as well, Stuart. He just, he just pressurised Aspinall from the off, hasn't he? 100. Body language as well all this weekend. Easy to say that at this point in time. 93. up in the semi-final. But it's been like that from the word go. He needs that ball. 86, Michael, you're right, 94. You wouldn't put it past him, would you? <laughs> 74. Nathan, you require... A rare five. slip. Two darts missed for 7-1. 77. Michael, you're right, you tournament, Aspinall's been getting those. With three darts in hand, has rarely been missing. That's awkward. Got to move. You can see how awkward it is. Game but it's not leg. awkward enough Michael for Michael Van Gerwen, and it is 7 1. Ninth leg, Michael to throw first. Well, that's time is running out for Nathan Aspinall. That last dart killer. As it has been on two or three occasions. 96. Got to dig deep. 60. You mentioned that two years since the big semi final for Aspinall. He also lost in the world match play to Van Gerwen, didn't he? 96. This year in the quarter finals, it was. That was fairly convincing, too. 16 legs to nine. 100. Ninety-four. Needs to get some positive feeling back in his throw, oh, and that will certainly help. Nice. Fifty. 
157. Navy New Corn, 161. You may think six darts to break the throw. Ninety-seven, Michael Lacorn, one hundred and fifty-eight. With that girl in, in this mood, you never know. That was a bit of a flyer. Forty-four, Nathan, you require sixty-four. So for only a second lag, and a break of throw. Forty-eight, Michael, you require one hundred and fourteen. Not his night. No, I mean, he, he's been put under the cosh from the word go, and the small moments he has had, he just hasn't taken them. Seven he's got another four. one. Even you require 16. To get his second leg on the board, and then he will throw first. He's on the ninth leg. Nathan Aston. More of a relief smile there. Back to the audience. Tenth leg, Nathan to throw first. I think a, a, a guide as to where Michael Van Gerwen is, he was fuming. He, he, he's winning 7-2, he needs four more legs. He was thinking, I'm going to win this 11-1. 16. That's the attitude he used to always have. Well, that's exactly what I was going to say. 177. Got him mad now. Yeah. There we go. Coming down for the same shot. Oh, yeah, brilliant darts from Nathan Aspinall. That's better. Fighting away. Fifty-seven. Oh, it's that incredible Hulk, isn't it? Don't make me angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. Fifty-four. But yeah, it, it, it's all part of Michael Van Gerwen's psyche. I mean, a winner. Doesn't like losing. Well, Ooh, who does? 174. But a 174 to follow a 177. Three 174s. He's hit already. Ooh, I was just going to say I'm going to fill it in, but he went the other way and Michael still eats it. 93. Brilliant. Brilliant darts. He needs the double. 75. Nathan, you require 36. 177 from Van Gerwen, followed in kind by Aspinall. 174, <laughs> followed in kind by Aspinall. Nathan Aspinall. Van Gerwen misses the double legs oh, to stay Roy in it. First. So Nathan's still with it all to do. And don't forget Rob Cross against Joe Cullen on the way in the other semi final. 100. Key snap for me there, the first nine darts. Michael Van Gerwen averaging 122, which is amazing. But this is what Aspinall has to do. Every leg. In the last four legs, he's hit three 180s, a 177, and a 174, Nathan Aspinall. Well, we said after the first session, Stuart, didn't we? He had to respond. He was 16 points behind on the averages then. After that second session, he's only six points behind. So, dramatic increase in quality from Nathan. He needed to do it and has responded very well. 33. Well, he, he's giving it his everything and he's piling the pressure on Michael Van Gerwen here. It's a dazzling dart. He's left 36 after nine against the darts Brilliant. to win a third consecutive leg. 47. They've been record 36. Brilliant from Aspinall. He's going to tidy up now. Yeah, I did say 20 minutes ago leg, that Aspinall would have to produce game on. his A star game and Michael Van Gerwen would have to drop off a little. Are we seeing signs of that? 81. Well, there's no doubt whatsoever he's well and truly back in the match. 140. 7-1 down, it didn't look too good. His body language wasn't the best. He's bothering Van Gerwen now, isn't he? He's bothering George's tonsils as well. Four maximums, 177 and a 174 in the last five legs. Incredible. 100. What an important last dart for Aspinall. What's Van Gerwen got left in the locker? 140. 140, 140, 140. 140. 140. 
Outstanding, really. And that's what Aspinall needs, 140. Ooh, there's some value there, maybe, for two tops, but I suppose the line on the like treble 20 won. was inviting. He needs the ball. 56. Nathan, you're 40. He's just starting to miss the odd dart. And Nathan uh, Aspinall uh, is it? Four consecutive legs. 7-1 has become 7-5. It's because he's been brilliant in the last five legs. He had to be. And he is producing his A star. The maximum has been set, didn't we? Yeah, amazing Incredible. for this from Aspinall. It's a barrage. 58. It's a barrage against Van Gerwen. Remember, he could have been 8 1 up, he could have been 8 2 up, but for missed darts at double. But at the moment, Nathan Aspinall is singing. Absolutely outstanding, Stuart. 57. Maybe you're going up. All the right notes. You know what he needs. Oh. That's the second time today he's hit seven perfect darts. He did it against Danny Nopper. Got a possible ten darter again to break through. What a comeback! Incredible chance of a ten. I'm going at a ten with the first leg of the match. He won't be too worried about that as long as he finishes it within throw here. Oh, that's all good. Is this the biggest start of the match so far? No score. Michael Lee with Ohio, 112. Blockers. He needs tops. Nine. That's another two. one. He's, he's, he's missed a dart in leg two. nine, a dart in leg ten, a dart in leg twelve, and a dart in leg thirteen. And after all legs in five consecutive legs. What a performance, what a comeback, what a semi-final. Oh, talk about a game of two halves. Look at that, 16, 13, 12, 13, 13, and they could have been better. Yeah. Twice he was on ten dark legs. He won't care! 100. Seven one up. He really was cruising. But Nathan Aspinall, it just oh, irresistible. Nice. Eight one eighties, seven of them in the last six legs. Oh, this Stuart, incredibly, is to level at seven apiece. One hundred. He can take this leg on throw. Van Gerwen is wilting a little. 21. Fifty-seven. Had the option of trouble eighteen there, but stuck with the twenties to set it up. One hundred. Going to have to take it now, though. Maybe requires sixty-four. Now oh, this is breathtaking. Michael, you require 90. For a level game, that was. Double 10. And Van Gerwen bashes back with a brilliant mighty check out. Wow, what a semi final this is. Look at the emotion. Aspinall can't get himself two down, but he had two darts for seven. Seven. Wow, what do you say? Nathan Aspinall has thrown everything at Michael Van Gerwen. Almost two darts away from levelling. Only to be crushed! Oh, that 90 finish 98. from the Green Machine. One hundred and nineteen. One hundred and forty.
Aspinall isn't going anywhere. Could have been 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, I can't believe how well Nathan Aspinall has played since leg eight. Seven maximums and one seven seven and a one seven four. Easy one, my one, one four five to set up a ten yep. data. Absolutely outstanding from the young man. Really is. One hundred and twenty. That was a brave, brave ninety finish though to go for the treble fifteen. Of course, a single would have left him a shot at the ball, but he went aggressively for the treble. And now he's got another one. What a semi-final this is. Aspinall missing chances. What a semi-final we have here in the European Championships in Salzburg. Michael van Gerwen 9-6 up against Nathan Aspinall. But another cracking game still to come. There we have it. Joe Cullen taking on Rob Cross in our second semi-final. Can Nathan Aspinall sparkle once more from 7 1 down? Got it back to 7 6. Missed two darts for 7 7. Back to back legs for Van Gerwen. But Aspinall will still believe, he has to still believe, in the way he's been playing. A good last dart after the band sound. Well, that spurt for 6 7 legs was as good as anybody. We've seen it with Michael, we've seen it with Gerwin. It was as good as anybody. Yeah. There, look. 16, well, it's interesting. 13, 13, 13. Talk, yeah, Nine, talking six. about that, I got a message during the break from our, our friend and colleague, John Park, watching in Canada, said it reminded him of what Van Gerwen did to Phil Taylor at the Players' Championship on ITV many years ago. I when remember he, that. He was behind, yeah, wasn't he? He was. He, he produced seven was legs of unplayable, magnificent, glorious darts. Possibly the best that you will ever see over a sustained period of time. Aspinall wasn't far off that. But he's got a shot at the 90 that Van Gerwen took out Nathan, in leg 14. All well, these are important now. Great first one. Not a bad he's second. 17 leg, leg Michael to the first. Game on. Again, brave, aggressive. 42. He will definitely feel like his game is back. Nathan Aspinall. Whatever happens in the remainder of this match. 140. Now go with 103 average. Aspinall 102 average. Now oh, this has been quite brilliant, hasn't it, from Nathan Aspinall? Continues to be this for a break of throw, don't forget. 94. It's got a chance. He is fighting away like a street fighter. 134. Left the same score. But he's, a, he's a class act, isn't he? We, we just haven't seen it that often over the last 18 months or so, but we are here at the European Championship. 38, Michael, you're Bit of a slip there, but maybe no drama. But this 170 is very doable, as we've seen already in this tournament, but not on this occasion. But it just puts a little bit more pressure on your next visit. To get back to within one. Again. No reaction whatsoever. That was another brilliant leg. Back to back legs. Game on. He's won seven out of nine legs. He's throwing to make it nine apiece. If he wins this, it'll go down as one of the most incredible performances of his career. He's reached two World Championship semi finals. 99. Which will take some beating, but this would be on a par simply because of where he was in the game. Absolutely right, Stuart. 99. This is like watching two rhinos play tug of war. Got no idea which way this is going to go. 
Ooh, Back comes Van Gerwen with a 1-7-1. Now the darting gods have been smiling on us this weekend. We've seen some fabulous darts over the last four days. Yes, yeah, incredible standard that these players are now producing. 64. And on a regular basis. And good to see some new faces on our screens. And all the players getting their mojo back. 105. Michael Yvonne, 167. So Aspinall will return to level up this game. 44. Remember, he was seven legs to one behind. Quite and astonishing. Play. Three legs off the spin after the break. It's yeah. the best of three. But Gerwin responding. Oh. He has to respond. Oh. This is brilliant. 80. Fifty-three. Back to the Lord Mayor's. Just a joy, isn't it? It's fifty-three how old George is today. Eighty-three. I'm sure he'll let him, he'll let me know. But he'll be enjoying this 96. as much as anyone else. Talk to him often, and you know, he says, just like us, it's a pleasure and a privilege to be involved in games like this. 140. Just keeping the pressure on Van Gerwen. Eighty-one. Just about okay. Great adjustment. Superb for Aspinall. Real pressure on this for Michael Van Gerwen. No finish. This is to go ahead. I cannot believe that I've just said this is to go ahead for Nathan Aspinall. From 7 1 down. 53. Oh, what a chance. Michael, you're 36. Just felt the moment. Game in 19 playing Michael Van Gogh. Well, 20 playing Nathan to throw first. Now we're going to have Game a deciding on. leg. Well, after the drama this afternoon and the drama already this evening. 96. We wouldn't put it past them both, Stuart. Gripping. 44. It really is. One hundred and forty. You can feel the tension in the arena as well, and the way, in best of order, as the players are throwing, they can, 97. they can sense, they know they're watching something very special. One hundred. Yeah, that's all right. He won't worry about leaving one six five with Van Gerwen that far back. One hundred and forty. Ah, oh, this is absolutely brilliant. One hundred and what a visit to leave double sixteen, and it looks like we're going to have one final brilliant leg of darts. One hundred and thirty-four, Nathan. Ten. Ten. Strap yourselves in for some more. 21st Darting drama. How has it come to this? Because Nathan Aspinall has been that good. I've never seen as many classics since I looked in Bobby George's wardrobe. This is incredible this weekend, and this is another. Hats off to both players. 100. Fighting away for this last leg decided for a place in the final. Oh, and Michael, Michael, oh, Michael! Oh, magnificent! Oh, 
lost for words. 100. And Nathan Aspinall has produced one of the best performances of his career. He may end up losing. But how good is that? Darts of a champion. Deciding leg, 180. Back it up with 180. Well, when you want a last leg 100. Michael, you have of extreme quality. Game. And a lovely yeah. dart with and two 180s. Michael Van Gogh wins one of the best games 